All right, I've already done a wheel thrown piece. It's about 3 8 inch thickness. My next job after letting it dry for a few hours is to use my wire tool. I'm gonna put it between my hands, pull it nice and taut, and I'm gonna pull it right off of the bat. And what I'm doing here is flipping it upside down so that I can trim from the bottom side. So in order to do that, I also need to anchor it down. So I'm gonna roll out a couple of balls to put along the sides here. I'm gonna do three different edges. And that's gonna hold it in place so that I'm able to do some trimming for the bottom. So right now the bottom is about three quarters of an inch. So what I'm gonna be doing is using a ribbon tool. I like to use a large ribbon tool for this. And what I'm also focusing on is I'm gonna have a steady wheel probably going closer to medium to slow, slow to medium speed. Go ahead and get that started. I need to make sure that my bowl is on there centered. The only thing that's not centered is this bottom rim here, but the bowl itself is definitely not centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that just a bit. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and gonna make new rings at the bottom so I can see where the center is. Pull that off. I'm looking for my sponge. And then what I'm gonna do is make a little ring here. And this is gonna help me to understand where the center is. So that when I put my bowl down, I know where to place it. There we go. Anchor it down with three separate little balls. Those will get removed later on. And now when I turn on my wheel, my bowl should be fairly centered. I see a little bit of a wobble. I'm looking straight down. If you don't have a bowl that's centered, that certainly makes this much harder. Let's scoot it over this way a little bit. Turn it back on. There, that's much, much better. All right, so now my next job is I'm gonna trim the bottom here along this edge to round it a little bit more like the rest of my bowl. And then I'm also gonna trim the inside and the purpose is to create a footy. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up to medium. The next thing I'm doing is I'm hovering over the wheel. I'm gonna anchor down my arm and my wrist by holding onto it and I have it resting against my leg. I have to flex all of my muscles because if I let that clay move my hand, then I'm gonna see that it's gonna start to go, um, give it a wobble. Now this is called a ribbon tool, hence the ribbons that just got pulled off. So that is doing its job. Again, I'm holding on nice and tight because I have to control that tool so that my bowl is going to be centered and not wobbly. Pulling off all those ribbons. Set those aside. And then now I'm gonna work on the footing. I'm going to go at a slower speed, 
creating a nice slow speed so that I can go in and start working on that footing. And what I'm doing is creating that nice round bottom. And then I'm gonna pull off the extras. Let me go ahead and use my rib tool, get that wet. And I'm gonna pull off, whoop, a little too fast. And I'm pulling off that extra clay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give this some time for it to dry. And then what I'm gonna do is a little bit more trimming. I like the inside here, but I want this edge all the way down to be trimmed just a bit more. You might see my fingers or knuckles looking white. That's because I am flexing to hold my rib tool steady. If you allow the clay to move that tool, you're not gonna have a symmetrical piece. Now I'm ready to give this a little time to dry before I flip it back over and finish my trimming along all of these edges. <laughs> 